Come on, Gwen, look at the bright side. You get to keep all the money you brought. Yeah, JT is right. Now and you, Rebecca, can go on being the uh, two rich bitches that I've come to know and loathe. Oh, go to hell, Teresa. You know, I think I'm going to go to Ethan instead with JT. Coming, dear. Yes. Well, now we're going to go to the BNB and show Ethan the proof that you and your mother were the ones who exposed his true paternity and then frame me for it. And then, well, you know what happens next. I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm going to lose Ethan. And Jane. I mean, this can't be happening. Well, it is. Because I paid JT exactly 100 more dollars than you did. And now he's going to come with me. We're going to show Ethan the proof that you and your mother were the ones who exposed his true paternity to the tabloid, then frame me for it, and then lie to him about it all this time. But I love Ethan. Ethan is the only man I've ever loved. Well, good. You got your memories to keep you warm at night. And me? I'll have Ethan. <sighs> I hate you. And JT, I hate you too. You both ruined my life. Oh no, you did this yourself by lying to Ethan all of this time. All I did was help my mother email information from your laptop, by the way, to protect Ethan from you. Oh, well, think about it this way. You had your turn with Ethan, and now it's mine. JT, let's go to the B&B &B and show Ethan the proof. And let's take my car, since I can afford gas again. Okay, perfect. Baron and soon to be single. I think you should take a page out of Whitney's book. Join a convent. Ouch. I can't believe this. I cannot believe it has come to this over what, $100 that I knew was in there when I counted at the B&B? Great. <sighs> Mother. We have a problem. Oh, we have problems, all right. JT played Teresa and me against each other, so whoever brought the most money tonight bought his help. And guess what? Teresa won. So now, instead of leaving town, he's going to give Ethan the proof that you and I nuked his life as a crane. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. And the worst part is I lost my $100! Oh, uh... $100, you say? Yeah, I'm either I miscounted, maybe I dropped it when I was packing up the money, I don't know! Yeah, um, well, um, honey, what, whatever happened, um, I, I just don't want you to lose hope yet. What, what, mother, the situation is hopeless. No, it's not. Just, just come here and help me. What are you doing? When? Oh, uh, honey, I just got in the shower. Okay, uh, but hurry up, okay? Because I, I do want to talk, all right? Okay. What is going on? He thinks I'm you and that I'm in the shower. Uh, what did you do to make him think that? Uh, honey, never mind. Just, just get over here, Dee. He can't find out that you went to go see JT. Mother, it doesn't matter. It's over. Teresa won. I'm going to lose Ethan. Not if we keep Ethan from seeing Teresa. Why should I rush back to battle Teresa? Because she won. I mean, if JT doesn't give Ethan the proof tonight that we're two lying bitches, he's going to do it tomorrow. And all because it was a stupid hundred dollars short. Uh, honey, that's not what is important now. What is important is you keeping your husband. And you still can. You just have to keep him away from Teresa. Look, look and what's really good is, is your very amorous husband is right outside the door here. And he is dying for you to get out of the shower and to give yourself to him on the altar of love. So, so you get on over here and get Ethan in the sack and I'll get rid of Teresita. Teresa and JT already left. But, just, just, just get over here and, and don't forget our money. Fine, I will be right there. God, I hate, I know I what I'm walking into. All right, JT's car wasn't outside. Teresa's car wasn't outside. There was no limo either. Why are they not here yet? What is she waiting for? She's probably waiting till Ethan and I are in bed together before she drags JT in there with his damn proof. <sighs> what, mother? Where are you? I'm in the hall. Okay, okay, just, just, just stay put. I'm gonna ask Ethan to go downstairs and get me a cup of tea and then make you move. Okay. Mother, 
Mother, there is no plan. Joyce is going to be here any second with JD. He's going to give Ethan the proof that we actually are the monster she's been saying we are. He's going to grab Jane. He's going to run off with Teresa. That's going to be the end. Honey, don't be so negative. We still have time to turn this whole thing around. No, we don't. Teresa won. And all because I had $100 less than she did to pay off JT. You know, uh, JT is not the most truthful guy. I mean, have you ever read his profile on MySpace.com? What is that? Oh, that, that's uh, just a, a, a rat, you know, crawling with vermin. Oh. Oh, there's a rat in here, all right, but it's not this blonde wig. It is you. Me? What, what did I do? That's what I'd like to know. Did you and Ethan, like, what? But, uh, what? What? <sighs> but you're the one who told me to do whatever I had to to make sure that he didn't know you were gone. Oh, my God. Did you have sex with my husband? No, absolutely not. And what is that? Uh, I was just playing Monopoly with one of my escorts. But with real money? Well, you know the real stuff. I mean, it looks just like the fake stuff. Looks like the real stuff. You took this off my pile of money that I gave JT. JT, no, no, I, I, I... How could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? You are the reason that I'm gonna lose Ethan. <laughs> You're right, without that, I would have been a million short and not just a lousy hundred bucks, but I lost Ethan and Teresa, mother. I lost him, I lost him, I lost him. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, honey, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I had to slap some sense into you. I did. Look, you are my daughter, and we do not let the men we marry call the shots. No, we do. You have to take control. You have to seize the moment, and you have got to get Ethan into bed with you. I don't care what you do, just, just drug him, slug him, drag him down into the basement and tie him up till you can leave town, but you under no circumstances, none, can you allow Teresa to take your husband away from you? Honey, you got your tea out here. Can you come out and talk now? Okay, I'll be on in just a minute. Okay, here. here. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Here, put the on my shirt. Come on, come on. beginning to worry about you. Oh, honey, I just really needed to relax. You know, a hot shower really did the trick. Yeah. I can show you another little trick if you're interested. <laughs> Great minds think alike. I was thinking we could do that when we get to wherever it is we're going. You lost me. So I think, OK? I think we should get dressed, grab our passports, head to the airport, and just hop on the first international flight we can, wherever it's going. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs> um, honey, uh, we can't just go anywhere without Jane. We'll take her with us. What about work? We'll call in sick. <laughs> honey, as tempting as your offer is, um, I'd actually rather stay here and just talk, like you promised. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're right. You're right, we need to talk. There are some things that I think you need to know. I just want you to know how much I love you. I, I love you, too. You and Jane both. That's good. Look, I mean, sometimes things happen, you know? And uh, later on, we wish that they hadn't. But they did happen, and it's hard to admit that they did. So to pretend like they didn't happen, you just, you just say they didn't happen. What are you saying? 
Are you trying to tell me that you've been lying to me? What the heck are you... What was that noise? Well, you know, Mrs. Henderson probably being clumsy downstairs getting her late night snack. Yeah, but listen, what... Are you trying to tell me that you were lying to me or something? Look, look, it's just that if you hear some things that seem out of character for me, I just please want you to know that, that you are the one true love of my life, and I don't want to live without you. Is this about JT Cornell? Because, Gwen, I'll tell you right now, if there's one thing that could keep us from being together, it's Teresa being right about him. Teresa ah! been telling the truth? Was it you and your mother that outed me as a Bennett and framed her for it? Is that what this is all about? Ethan, this is about how much I love you. I love you more than anything or anyone in this whole world. Honey, I love you too, but I don't think... What, did Mrs. Henderson just fall down the stairs? Miss Henderson's really clumsy, isn't I, she? I should go check on her. What if she broke a hip or something, Gwen? Uh, honey, wait, isn't that, isn't that what Medicare's for? What? Honey, I'm sorry. It's just I need to know that you know how much I love you. I do. And, and, and you know that I would never, ever, ever do anything to intentionally hurt you, right? You believe that? I, yeah, I, I do believe that, Gwen. Good, because, um... Honey, the truth, you know, it's not always black and white. Sometimes it's complicated. I know that wasn't Mrs. Henderson. And why do you seem so on edge? Hmm? Does this have anything to do with JT Cornell? Get your hands off of Ethan, you lying bitch! What are you doing here? Oh. Well, your wife knows, and you know what? You're about to find out. JT, in here! JT? Oh yeah, JT, he's got the proof, Ethan. He finally has the proof that your wife and Rebecca, uh, they sent the information to the tabloid, then they framed me for it, and then they lied about it all this time. You start packing, Gwen, because your time with Ethan and our daughter is over. You're out.